children, we heard that you have a new commission for us. That's correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The Magnificent Irodori Festival. The Yashiro Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your oh. help is none other than Lady Yai herself. So it's Miko's commission. Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanami's. Oh, so she's there here. There's no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, well, that's convenient enough. Let's go then. I am so sorry for the person I will become when Kazuha appears. Hello, Yai. I'm gonna give y'all a jump scare. Hang on. Bam. And what about you, Onodera? He <sighs> doesn't look too happy. Oh. Onodera, you are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. All right then, is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop chop! Ah, hello little ones. Hi yai! I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Mm-hmm. Some organizer you Oh my are. god. It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Play mine, calm down! You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <laughs> if so, then you can forget it! <laughs> Well, well, to be fair, I'm not here to organize an entire festival either, so yeah. Yeah, forget it, Yai. <laughs> my, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival. Yet you say I'm not doing my job. That wasn't me, that was Paimon. Paimon was the one who said it first. This time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival. Distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. International. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> you know, for this to be an international festival, I'm surprised Child isn't here. <laughs> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Okay. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the Five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Mm. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival. Oh. Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... Holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> but, wait a minute! Light novels? I mean, it's... it's a part of... it's... it's literature. What about all that refined, elegant stuff you just said? Please stop looking at me with those baffled <laughs> expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. Exactly. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. We're entering the modern era. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Kazuha would be offended. <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all to that through light <laughs> novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Why are the Traveler and Paimon so snarky today? It sounds like a whole lot of thinly veiled self-justifications. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kasan Plaza during the festival. And nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Okay. Huh. Uh, Miko, what are these blank boards in the center of the plaza? Yes.
Yes, those are... Ah, Lady, I did <gasps> mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. Ayato, hi! Oh my god, you came out of nowhere. At last, we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? Pretty good. I mean, I have you in my team now. I tried to get a sword for you, but it gave me the freaking bow instead for the other Hydro Man that I care less about. <laughs> I'm joking! We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. Ah. This Iridori Festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree, it is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. Celebrities? For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. <laughs> I wonder who that is. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. Okay. Let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on ah, I'm so excited! Oh my god, I'm waiting here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna wait all night. <laughs> I'm waiting all night. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks! We're already here! Albedo! Clay! Come here! I'm here to give you a warm welcome! The word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. Uh, oh, Paimon, what are you doing? These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tonya's bard then? Oh, Venti! Right! Maybe he's on a separate ship for some reason? Even if he was invited, there's a chance he still wouldn't show up. Nah, he's showing up. <laughs> he's showing up to Inazuma to pay his friend an old visit. Why is that? Well, you know, Venti's in... Mm, he's... I feel like he can't... He's, he's coming! We saw the trailer! He's always coming... He's, he's obviously coming to Inazuma. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, the movie would it seem a little childish. It would also sort of be shameless of him too. Hi, Clee! She's running towards us. It's Clee! Were you also invited to the Iridori Festival? Hi, Clee! <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. Hello! Hello, Beto! It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma. Calx. Oh, that's... Okay, that's your pen name, Calx. Okay. Well, let's get going, then. Oh, I'm so happy to see them again. It's been, what, almost a year? Since the what was it, Golden Apple Archipelago? You guys are gonna love it here. I am a great and amazing tour guide. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful here! So many things I've never seen before. Clay, <laughs> don't run off! <sighs> Telling Clay so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best yeah, idea. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Oh, nothing wrong with a little excitement. Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. Oh, okay, okay. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? Please! <laughs> I only know of the five Kasen by name. So because cute. of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Iridori Festival. The what first one, doing? depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. Okay, Suiko. First one is Suiko. There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, <laughs> so because good. the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tightened and finished at the last minute. 
Okay. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. Dang, okay. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too! We'll take you over there to see if we can find Please. an Albedo. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> She's just dancing. Oh my god, my heart! Um... Uh... Mr. Hirayama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kasin for the festival? I do apologize, but please make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Uh, excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legend of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Damn, okay. <laughs> Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Chin Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. It's gonna be pretty mad. <laughs> so the author of A Legend of Sword is Chin Yu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Chin Cho's been named? Yep. Oh, do you know him? We met on a couple occasions. Can I go through here? <laughs> Come on, Ayato, you're literally big enough to go through this. <laughs> I don't want to. Hey, let me out. Here. Venti? Is that Venti? Is that freaking Venti? Oh, Kujo, sorry. Oh, shit. She's here. Hello? What happened? Huh? It's you! Why are you here? I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. No! Is that surprising? Not, not you! Venti! No, Sara! Paimon was a guy <laughs> we're, we're not talking about you, Sara. <laughs> so, Tone Death Bard, the suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? Oh, don't either smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... Indeed me. What the hell were you doing? Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed bard from Mondstadt? You could say we're quite familiar. Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Did you sneak in? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. Venti, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and just a moment ago, we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the sailing breeze. Of course! <laughs> of course you are. Could we ask him a few questions? Oh, Venti! <laughs> you didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me! We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. What was the last time we met him? It was during the Golden Apple Archipelago too, right? <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Well, I, ha I was forced to because this country was under lockdown. You don't have a reason to be entering the country illegally. Oh my god. Similar means. <laughs> Let's not bring up the past right now. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not. 
for the person who sent me the invitation is none other oh. than Kami Sato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally. Where is right? he then? Where's Ayato? Ayato, can you come here real quick? It's not that I don't believe you, Venti, but if we're gonna need someone to prove it, then... <laughs> received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion wine. So, naturally, I decided to set sail with them. Oh my god. This freaking bard. Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, I must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuma and sake. Okay, but where's your invitation letter then? And when I woke up, I found myself in this warehouse with a Tenryo Commission General glaring at me from <laughs> the crate. <laughs> <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable, but it still feels a bit... Shameless. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps... Because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... Oh, there must be more than one criminal involved. <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird. Oh my god, he just... Venti. Not so fast. <laughs> even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Yeah, what about the invitation letter? Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. Don't wink at me like that, Venti. No, don't stick your tongue out like that too, Venti. Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Oh my god. Uh, how could you lose something so important? <laughs> she's, she's tired. Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was, but I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. <laughs> Just, I don't know, tuck it in somewhere? At least put it under your hat. If you were holding the invitation in your hand the whole time, then why did you put it down? <laughs> <I'm> so sorry. <laughs> Just... Uh, the image of the animal Archon himself being scolded by everybody. <laughs> well, to properly compare the taste of Mondstadt wine and Inazuma and sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you could have just put, just could have just taken turns. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, traveler? In his hat? <laughs> he is under his hat. <laughs> These are the materials regarding the five Kasim. All the information that we could find is compiled here. Oh my god, okay. So, is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. Uh, however, I must admit that it is still lacking and, uh, fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. Okay, so it's up to interpretation. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Jenyu, 
the author ah. of the Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, uh. please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Of course. Well, seems there's nothing more we can do here. Let's go! Venti? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. Uh -huh. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. Hmm? Oh, the five cast in Splendor, sweet go. Some treacherous scoundrel must have stolen the poem, leading to my great loss of face. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> That's literally venti situation right now. But why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Hmm. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Okay, you're back with the rhymes. Hey! You just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? <laughs> uh, and let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off. No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink oh, together. Okay, I guess. It'll be my treat. All right. As I mentioned before, I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. Okay, Zventi. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate uh, recompense. Yes, Zventi. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, oh? the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshu Kaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Oh Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely oh recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Zhenyu? That's <laughs> Xing Chao? That's Xing Chao. Really Whoa! Oh my god! That is beautiful. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. Not only does it harken to the traditional style of Inazuma, but it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as <laughs> glorious as always. Albedo! Might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales hmm. of the five Kassen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kassen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures, yet all the popular stories only consist of four parts. Hmm. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuro Nushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows, they may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt. Seeds oh my god. Brought by the wind and cultivated by time. Oh my god. Yes, that's saying. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. Is that the end? Oh my god. <laughs> All right.